mathematics in the modern world. And here, we're going to talk about symmetries and the different types of symmetries. So we will recall that there are three major types of symmetries, the rosette patterns, the freeze patterns, and the wallpaper patterns. For the rosette patterns, um, there are some patterns in the plane, let me read, that there is a point, we call that point a center um, of that symmetry. So in that given point, there are possible symmetry operations, such as rotations about the center. So from that center, we will rotate from there, and we may put a line that crosses that center, and we will try to reflect. So the pattern on the right has seven rotation symmetries, um, including identity transformation, and seven reflection Symmetry. So you can try to imagine these here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you may rotate it seven parts, or you may try to imagine to, you know, put reflected seven times. So it's symmetry group is what we call D7. And the pattern on the right has 12 rotation symmetries. We can see here 12 rotation symmetries here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, including the identity and no reflection symmetries. Um, its symmetry group is what we call R12. So uh, you can see a lot of different different combinations of symmetry groups and uh, for the rosette patterns. You can see that in our module. Try to visit it. And there's an interactive there which shows different types of, of patterns. Okay. So I'm going to go back to that so that I can show you the different um, rosette patterns there. Okay. Now let's move forward. And let's talk about the freeze patterns, which I will give more importance because the 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 pattern here shows much in detail, and it's very specific. So one main so one will not um, get confused with this. So if you consider a motif not restricting by a center center point, so we don't have a center point, we move this motif horizontally or vertically only on one 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 linear way, vertical or horizontal. This motif either is, um, you know, continued, it will continue to repeat as the process as we desire. We would have uh, different groups, or we would have different groups of freeze patterns. The following picture is an example, sorry for this. We would have different groups. The following picture is an example of a horizontal translation symmetry, um, which I will show below. So we consider this motif over here. So from this motif, um, you can see here that the motif is repeated and it's 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 um it is repeated horizontally to make a linear pattern so this is one example of a freeze pattern not freeze as in f r e e z e f r i e z e so we will have here seven freeze groups wherein we're going to investigate and um kindly be with me as we will go along um so this is the first freeze group f sub 1 so F sub 1 contains only a translation symmetry, which is basically the same thing before. Mathematician John Conway created names that relate to footsteps for each of the freeze groups. So this F1 is called a hop. So imagine you're hopping on one foot. So this is what we call the freeze group uh, F1. So if you want to take notes um, as we go along. Freeze group number 2, F sub 2, um, is what we call a step by, by Conway. It's composed of glide symmetry glide deflection symmetries so you glide which means you you slide you translate and you reflect imagine that there is a line of symmetry over here so you translate you reflect from here you translate you reflect from here you translate you reflect and so on until you will produce the the freeze pattern i hope that's clear third or f sub three uh, contains a translation um, and a vertical reflection symmetry. Translation and vertical reflection symmetry. So um, we Conway called this a fiddle F3. So you imagine there's a line of reflection here. You reflect that. There's a line of reflection here. You reflect that. There's a line of reflection here. You reflect that. Uh, there's a line of reflection here. Um, you reflect that. Okay, or you can imagine it as translating it going here, and then you reflect, translate it over here, and then you reflect, and so on, and so on. So you can see that this is what they call a siddle. Uh, fourth freeze group, or F sub 4, um, Conway called F sub 4, F sub 4 as the spinning hop. It contains translation and rotation by a half-turn symmetry. 
So you translate, I think that's literal. You can see the translation from here to here. Okay, and um, imagine that there is a certain point over here and you rotate this image as well. So you have, and then you translate, okay? From here, you rotate it 180 degrees, and then you translate. And you can see a lot of different things here. You may start with this, and you, then you translate 180 degrees. It's still the same thing. Okay, so that's freeze group F sub 4. Let's proceed to, so it contains translation, glide reflection, and rotation by a half turn symmetry. So basically, we do a glide reflection. We translate, we reflect, we translate, we we reflect. Oh, not really. We, tr we just simply translate here. Okay. And then we can also rotate. You can imagine this as a rotation or a reflection. There's a lot of combination of things that you can do here. Okay. But the thing is, this is what it looks like. So from a motif, you may try to reflect that motif. And then you glide, ref glide reflect, and then you reflect that motif. You translate, and then you reflect that motif. So the thing is, you can see the image on how a spinning circle works. Um, F sub 6 is simply a jump. So you have a horizontal reflection symmetry. And then what you do here is that you translate them one by one. Okay? You translate them um, one by one. So um, maybe you can imagine this, you know, it's a translation and a horizontal reflection. You translate everything and you reflect it all in all. Okay, so you translate and you reflect it all in all. So that's, uh, that's how a jump works. Please do not get yourself confused with F6 and F2, which is the glide reflection so it's not a jump but it's like getting doing steps don't also confuse it with a spinning siddle or rather a spinning hop because as you can see here it's quite different a different thing so let's continue here with f6 now f7 is a spinning jump so while you are jumping you're spinning while you're doing that so it contains all symmetries actually so you can see here um, you may try to imagine how it works, but from this image, the next image would be this, the next image would be this, and then so on. Okay, so it's a combination of different kinds of symmetries. And for the last one, second, uh, independent direction, we get wallpaper groups. So instead of just uh, one directional, which is the freeze patterns, we have wallpaper groups. So there are 17 groups in a wallpaper symmetry, um, considering only discrete groups. Um, we can explore this in the module. I will show you this as well uh, in a while. If a wallpaper group has a, has any rotational symmetries, then the smallest rotational symmetry must be 180, 120, 90, and 60 degrees. A wallpaper group can also have a ref reflection symmetries and glide reflection symmetries. So we're going to explore that in the next video. So I'm going to say goodbye um, with this video in the, in the details and the theory. We're going to explore and check the different types um, as we go along. Um, thank you very much, and I hope you learned something from this. And um, see you in the next video. Goodbye.